you want to keep your body healthy and strong to do a lot of workouts example running push-ups sit-ups all this stuff helps the body run th the blood run through your body to keep you nice and strong The good thing about this exercise is that it helps strengthen your muscle and also stretch your muscle. So you're really getting a very good exercise when you're doing this. You'll feel it in your back, in your hamstrings, all that. Okay, just like it's important to keep your body in good shape, it's also, hey, how are you? All right, so just what I was saying, just like it's important to keep your body in good shape by doing push-ups and sit-ups and running, it's also very important to keep your car in good shape. One of the best ways to keep your car running real nice and smooth and running for a long time is doing an oil change. So today we're gonna discuss how to do an oil change, what are the types of oil, um, and how often you should do an oil change. Does that sound good? We got a lot to find out today, so let's start. <coughs> Okay, so about the oil, some facts about the oil. First of all, the oil is what keeps all the parts of the car lubricated well. Imagine you have metal on metal, it'll, it'll mess up the engine very quick, but the point of the oil is that there's oil in between everything, so everything runs real nice and smooth. So that's why it's very important to change your oil, usually every 3,000 miles or every three months, because the oil does go bad, and also after the oil does its job a lot, it gets very dirty and picks up lots of dirt, and that's why it's very important to get rid of the old oil and put in new, fresh, uh, well-lubricated oil. Okay, so before we do anything else, let's check the oil level of the car. In the engine compartment, you'll find a dipstick, and in that dipstick, that's where you'll be able to tell if your oil level is good or not. So let's start. Most of the times, the dipstick, which is in this case over here, is behind the engine because that's where all the oil is collected. So in this case, the dipstick says engine oil on it, so we know we're correct. Sometimes they're yellow, sometimes they're red. Uh, it's different for different cars. So you pull it out, and it's gonna be a very long dipstick. Clean it out one time before you check to make sure that you get an accurate reading and simply put it right in all the way and pull it out a second time nice and slow and check where your oil level is. In this case, the oil, you can see where the oil is, which is exactly where we want it to be above the first uh, bump. So the oil on this car, the oil level, the amount of oil that's in the car is correct. Okay, now let's talk about actually doing the oil change. Now the oil change, if you have a high car, may be a little bit easier to do because it's easier to get underneath the car. If you have a little bit of a lower car, you may need to raise the car up to get to where the bolt to remove the old oil is. So let's take a look. Oh man, in this car, yep, we could fit right in. And if you come all the way in, all the way, all the way, right over here, is the plug that you remove and it drains all the oil out of the car. So you simply remove this plug, make sure you have a bucket to collect all the old oil and you'll see the oil comes out really black because it's been used. Fresh oil has more of a brownish color to it. So we simply remove all the oil and then don't forget to put the plug back in, close it up all the way. Also, when you're doing an oil change, you have to remove the oil filter. The oil filter helps to keep the oil as clean as possible for a long time. But anytime you're doing an oil change, you wanna change the oil and change the filter. In this situation, the oil filter is right over here. You simply unscrew it and put the new one and back in. So now, all we gotta do is put new oil in the top of the car. And this is also very easy to do. If you take a look back over here, Simply unscrew, sometimes it's a little bit hard because it's been closed for some time. Simply unscrew, there you go, the oil cap. And if you'll see on the oil cap, there's actually an oil sign. And that's how you know you're putting the oil in the correct area. Simply unscrew the oil cap. Don't lose this cap, so keep it somewhere where you can see. And you fill in the oil right where the unscrew was. Normally, cars take about five quarts of oil. So best thing 
to recommend is put five quarts of oil, turn the car on, let it run for a minute, and then turn the car off, let it sit for a minute. And then go back and check your oil level again. If you feel that it's a little bit low, add some more oil and keep checking until you have the exact amount. There are many different grades of oil. Grade of oil means the thickness of the oil. Uh, the higher the numbers, the more thick it is. So usually on older cars or cars that have a higher mileage, you want to put thicker oil because the parts need to be lubricated better. Newer cars, they could have thinner oil because everything's still working the way it's supposed to be. Does that sound good? Did we learn a lot? Okay, so we just discussed how to change the oil in your car and why it's very important to change the oil of your car. Now, this applies so much to Christianity because you need to constantly change and change and change. It's very easy to always build up a lot of impurities and a lot of dirt and all that kind of stuff. But the point of an oil change is to get rid of everything, get rid of all the impurities and put on new oil. This, we could do this through confession, we could do this through prayers, we could do this through many ways. But the important thing is that we constantly change. Get rid of the old and put on a new. So the oil changes, I mean, it, uh, it's recommended that you do an oil change about three every three months or every 3,000 miles. You cannot do this with your Christian life. Changing is a daily, daily basis. So constantly change your oil on your car to keep it running for a long time. Constantly renew your body. Get rid of the old, put in new to keep it living for Christ and living for, forever.